Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the new cart which are being introduced in the Lake Air update. Now, if you haven't seen my first Lake Air update video, make sure you go and check that out. It's all about the powered water and food troughs which are also coming in the Lake Air update. I will leave that down in the pinned comments for you to go and check out. Like I touched on in the previous video, today we're going to be looking in the Barnyard Workshop which is a new item which is introduced in Lake Air. So let's just go ahead and take a look. So these are the items we're going to be taking a look at today is the seeding cart, the watering cart and the harvesting cart. Now, so that makes there a total of four carts being introduced into the game now. So once Lake Air is released, there will be four carts because that will include the wooden cart for hauling stuff. So the seeding cart, as of recording this video, it's all subject to change. We'll have 1000 kg carry capacity, minus 4 movement speed, plus 60 mount cargo inventory slots, unrideable though, so it's the same as the wooden cart, and plus 5 mount heavy cargo slots. So what they are is there for your backpack equipment, you know, like for radars and drills and stuff like that. The same does apply to the harvesting cart and the watering cart, but the textures are different. The seeding cart is follows. A cart which can be stocked with seeds and pulled by an animal will create dirt mounds with planted seeds. I'll demonstrate all this for you in a moment. The harvesting cart, self-explanatory. A cart when pulled by an animal will attempt to harvest fully grown nearby crops. And the watering cart, a cart which when stocked with water and pulled by an animal will water nearby crops. So before this video, because I wanted to test it out, I did go ahead and try the seeding cart and works well. It's a little messy, but it works. As you can see, these are a lot of carrots that I've planted and some tomatoes. So for the purpose of this video, I am going to be just using my trusted buffalo here. All you have to do is hold down F and you can go ahead and place the seeding cart or any other cart into the saddle slot and then the cart will get attached. What you also can do now is hold down F, bring up the inventory of the buffalo and place any seeds you want inside of the buffalo like so. So let's go ahead and tell the buffalo to follow me. Now what you want to do is find yourself an open piece of land. So let's just move over here. Now this won't start seeding for you straight away. What you need to do is go to the cart and then hold down X. Now this will start seeding. You'll hear like an audible noise that it's planting stuff. And if it's tomatoes you're planting, well, you get all of these left behind as well. And there you go. That's all of my seeds planted. So now I've put the watering cart on the buffalo. Now to fill this up with water, bear in mind stuff is still very buggy and stuff can change as I'm on an early build of this for Lake Air. So you need to make the buffalo be near a water source which is deployable with the watering cart on the back. And you can go to your buffalo with the watering cart on the back and then press to fill by nearby deployables. Now I'm pressing it but when you go to the cart here it's only slightly full. Now so I'm not sure if I've done it via this or by simply just giving water. I'm unsure. This is the watering cart. The idea behind this is now once you've got water in the cart get the mount to actually follow you and head to the crops that need watering. So in this case it's all these tomato plants Now if I want to harvest crops, all I have to do is switch out the cart to the harvesting cart, like so. The device is turned on, get the mount to follow me, and I should start harvesting these tomatoes which I placed earlier. There we go. I do like the little bit of machinery on the back. See if we can get these carrots. This is a really good way of mass harvesting and farming. I'm actually really happy to see this in game. It has all of the tomatoes there, the carrots, and you get all the seeds as well, which is really good. Also in the Lake Air update, the mounts are getting their skill trays. Now, this is really good. I, I've been actually looking forward to this because this is actually going to get people using mounts a lot more, and you'll see why in a second. So... As always, you'll have the mount cargo, the stats, and the now skills. When your mount levels up now, it'll level up by doing actions and feeding it. You will now get a talent point per level. As you can see, I've already applied 
about 14 talent points already to this buffalo in its absolute unit as you can see i've added plus four mount cargo inventory slots to this buffalo as this along with soft padding so it reduces the perceived threat along with cargo hauling mounted cargo inventory slots so this buffalo becomes an absolute unit and a freight basically of course this applies to moas and all the other mounts and tameable creatures as well now i will talk about tameable creatures in another video so all you do is go your skills for your other mounts as well and then you get to apply the talents to their mounts also and it's easy just applying the talents like so if you found this helpful let me know down in the comments what you think of these new talent changes and the new carts will you be using them or are you just going to stick to using the crop plot let me know down in the comments everybody hit that like button subscribe to the channel i'd greatly appreciate it It does help out a lot i do have a lot more lakia videos coming so do keep your eyes peeled and have them notifications turned on because i think you're going to really like them